about to cook. Mm. We're about to cook. So I'm back with another cooking video tonight. We are cooking cooking and we're going real um, If I'm wrong, sorry, but I'm pretty sure it's all in the same family. We're going in our Italiano bag, okay, so <laughs> as you could read from the title we're making chicken parmesan with spaghetti <laughs> So right now um, I'm about to go to the grocery store and pick up all the ingredients that uh, we're going to need to make this delicious chicken parmesan. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm picking up, of course. And then we're going to get back here and get to cooking, cooking. Okay? Alright, well, stay tuned. Keep watching. We're about to cook. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you guys can just read what's on the, on the screen, but I'm just going to say what you need anyway. So, you're going to need mozzarella, skinless chicken breast, seasoned breadcrumbs, spaghetti noodles, eggs, a parmesan cheese, and flour. So, the first thing I'm going to do is get my chicken breast after rinsing it off, of course. Um, I'm just going to cut it in half. Like, the chicken breast is pretty thick. I don't know if people eat it like that. But we're not doing that for this chicken parmesan recipe. We're just going to cut it in half. So now we have four pieces. So the next thing that we're going to do is season it. We're going to um, first season it with some pepper and then throw some seasoned salt on there. And don't just sprinkle it on there, you guys. Um, make sure you sprinkle it on the front and the back. And then you want to massage the seasoning into the meat just to make sure it really gets in there. You want to make sure your meat has flavor. Okay, so next is um, dipping our chicken, you know, getting that breaded crust, or is that what you say, breaded crust? But yeah, so this is when the flour, egg, and bread crumbs come into play. So first you're going to dip the piece of chicken in the flour, then into the egg, then into the bread crumbs. You just want to make sure that the piece of chicken is covered nicely in all three things. And then you're going to put it in the fridge for 10 minutes. So next you're going to get your olive oil and just coat the pan. You want to just do a, you don't want it to be too deep, but you want to do a nice little layer in there so you can start frying that chicken. So like a centimeter, I don't know, a centimeter, two centimeters. But yeah, then you want to just place that chicken in there so it can get to frying. And I'm checking on it so often just to see, just to make sure that the bottom is getting nice and brown. This is more of a sight thing. Um, I think it took about 10 minutes to get how I wanted it. But it depends on how high you have your heat. You just want to make sure that the chicken gets a, you know, a nice brown color, which I'm going to show you. But you want to just make sure it gets a nice brown color. Or maybe you like your chicken lighter and you could have it like that. But I wouldn't mind this uh, brown color. Okay, so now I'm sitting, I should have dried off my chicken with a paper towel, you know, get all that oil out. But um, I'm just going to sit it in the aluminum foil pan until I'm ready to do something else with it. So now I'm going to put the stove on low heat and get a pot. And this is for the marinara sauce for both the parmesan chicken or chicken parmesan and the spaghetti. So I'm going to put the um, marinara sauce inside of the uh, pot 
And then I'm going to get some fresh basil leaves. Just rip some up. Um, some seasoned salt. Some pepper. And like a splash of hot sauce. And I'm just going to put that all inside of the marinara sauce. And mix it up. That's just to all give it some flavor. Um, when you're done, most people take out the basil leaves. But I just left them in because why not? They don't taste that bad. So now we're back to the chicken. And we're going get to our, get our mozzarella cheese. So, as you guys can see in the video, um, I'm putting the mozzarella cheese on first. And, um, after I did that, I realized, like, hmm, maybe I should do the, um, the marinara sauce first, then put the cheese on top, and then another layer of mar marinara sauce, which I did, and you'll see that in the video as well. But first, I'm showing you guys my mistake by putting the cheese on first, because I'm honest, and... We all make mistakes. But after I'm like, hmm, for some reason I feel like the cheese should have went on after the sauce. But it probably really doesn't matter. Either way, probably works just fine. And I honestly should have put more cheese. Like, I really like a lot of cheese, but I was scared. Like, I didn't know how the mozzarella would melt, like, if it would be too much. But I probably definitely um, could have put some more cheese on there. But, you know, it was good regardless, but still. So now I'm putting the marinara sauce on, on top of the cheese now. Still in mistake mode, you guys. But like I said, um, you could do that too. It probably really doesn't matter. I just felt like I should have did it the opposite way. Okay, so this is when I flip the cheese over, then I put more sauce on top. This is another time where I feel like I should have put more sauce on. I just still wasn't sure this is my first time making, making it, you guys. So just add a little more sauce, or like I did, you can add sauce after it's done because, you know, it's the same thing. So now, um, the oven is was preheated to 450, and we're just going to place it inside of the oven for until it starts um, until the cheese starts bubbling and turning brown basically so now we're down to the spaghetti you know you want to get that water boiling and then you know put some salt in the water that's I don't know if it's a myth or not but it's really a tradition <laughs> to put salt inside of the water when cooking pasta because supposedly it stops the noodles from sticking to each other So once you put the noodles in there, um, I kept them in there for like exactly 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, they were ready to be served. So after that, you know, you just want to drain the noodles, of course. And I put some butter in the noodles and mixed them up just to, you know, have a little buttery, some flavor. <laughs> now, as you can see... The cheese got a little brown, it was a little bubbly, and it's done. As you can see, yes, I probably should have put more sauce in it, I don't know. Like, it was good enough, but I feel like when I see chicken parmesan, it's like drenched in sauce. But look at that. Ooh, look at the cheese. I love cheese, y'all. It was so good. And you're just going to sit your piece of chicken on a bed of noodles. Um, I also made a vegetable on the side, but that I wasn't doing a tutorial for that, but... I made a veggie on the side and my dish is complete and it was really good you guys it was really good only suggestions you might want to cook in more sauce or maybe add more cheese than me but it really doesn't matter because if you follow my exact instructions it tastes good if you do your own thing it'll taste good just make sure you follow that chicken recipe the cheese and sauce is really up to you Look, I already cut a piece up. And, like, the chicken just smells good. I think it's those breadcrumbs. See, I slept on breadcrumbs. Like, I used to make fun of, you know, people for using breadcrumbs in their fried chicken. But I don't know. It's kind of tasty. Well, I don't know yet, but it smells good. So, let's see. Mmm! Mmm, 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 mmm! 
tastes like a fruit. Am I in Italy? Am I in Italy, y'all? Y'all, I think I'm in Italy. Wow. Okay, so tonight let me eat some pasta too. Ten out of ten. Um, let me see. Anything I would do different? No. I'd probably put more cheese because I really like it cheesy. That's why I put as much as I did, but that wasn't even enough for me. I like a lot of cheese. It's really good, though. So, yeah. Make sure you guys try this recipe out because it's really good. If you like chicken parmesan, if you like anything Italian, you'll love this because, yeah, it's good like i said for the 50th time so yeah if you um liked this cooking video make sure to like comment subscribe and share and stay tuned for other videos more cooking more a whole bunch of stuff and if you try the recipe or plan on trying it make sure you comment below to let me know how it is or how it comes out and if you're just gonna do it thanks for watching guys